कुछ केस ऑफ डायनेमिक सोर्स टेबल नेम द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कैन यू राइट एट प्रोसीजर दैट एक्सेप्ट द टेबल नेम एज एन इनपुट पैरामीटर एंड रिटर्न डेटा फ्रॉम दैट टेबल नाउ आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अ केस स्टडी हेयर सो आई हैव मल्टीपल टेबल्स विच स्टोर द यूजर डेटा फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिपरेट टेबल फॉर इम्प्लॉ फॉर कस्टमर फॉर वेंडर्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग एंड आई हैव क्रिएटेड स्टोर प्रोसीजर विच रिटर्न द डेटा ऑफ यूजर बेस्ड ऑन इनपुट पैरामीटर द यूजर है to pass the table name and uh, based on that i will return the data from that particular table so how you can do that if you try to do that with a uh, static sql query here i am accepting the table name and i am trying to fetch data from that particular table name and if you try to execute this sql query sql store procedure must declare the table variable at table name so this statement is not executing because the sql identify that there is error with select class select asterisk from table name and you cannot use this directly i have explained about this in the case of in a table variable videos and table value parameter now uh, the solution of this problem is only the dynamic sql query i am executing the same thing i am accepting the table name and uh, i have uh, is uh, sys dot table name from that i can uh, get whether the table name which is passed by the user is valid or not where it is exist in our database or not so this is nothing but i am checking the whether table is exist exist in our database or not and before that i am using uh, a replace function so this replace function is nothing but i am making sure that if user has passed already this brackets or not because normally we use this uh, to quote uh, that particular object name so that it can not clash with any uh, reserved keyword of sql server or any uh, reserved object name so that's why if user has passed in i am uh, just replacing that otherwise it will be uh, it it will do nothing so i am executing this after that i am declaring the dynamic sql variable and after that i am using the select asterisk from dbo dot quote name and uh, table name quote name is nothing but i am just uh, imposing that table name with brackets after that this and bracket if it is not there and i am raising the error invalid table name supplied now if you execute this procedure command computer successfully now see i am uh, executing this query with if you see i am uh, using this brackets to pass the table name we are getting the data and in the second case i am not passing any bracket still we are getting the data this is only due to this statement where i have used this replace function similarly you can use other tables as well to get the data it will work for each and every table name but if user has tried to this case invalid table name supplied In, in, in the second case as well see the error message why this is happening because user has passed this schema name as well along with that if you want 
this to be included then you have to handle this here because if you see the select statement i have used select asterisk from dbo dot because i have already appended this schema name schema owner name is as dbo so you have to handle this case as well if you want to pass the input parameter like this otherwise you have to uh, raise error 